has left. He's got McLean here. That's in for Burns, but Beatty will have it first. Oh, it's over his head. It's an own goal almost. Oh, my goodness me. Didn't seem to bother Cooper. It bothered a few people here. Well, I wonder whether did the wind blow that or was it just a bad judgment by that strong left foot of Beatty? Powerfully hit over Cooper's head. Gowling for Craig, it was meant for, but Burley's in there amongst them. A little bit scruffy in there at the moment, and it's uh, David McLean who makes a break, but Gowling on his left. Beat his challenge, and he's being penalised for it. looked as if he'd been caught there with a player supporting him on the left, Alan Gowling, but uh, Beatty pulled up for that. And the wind really howling around in this penalty area behind these players, blowing all sorts of loose paper off the terraces. And Ron Chalice having a strict word with Kevin Beatty about that protest he made. Now it's Craig with a chip up. Beatty's there. Burley away. For a corner. Well, the wind makes these sort of things very dangerous for any team. And that's a good head up. It's there. Newcastle's first away goal. And that's Aidan McCaffrey, the centre half. shot for Ipswich Town. It's the first attack, really, that Newcastle have had. It came from the corner when, really, the centre-half wasn't picked up. A deep one, a clear, unchallenged header, and it's into the back of the net for their first away goal. Kennedy will get that one easily enough. Woods trying to turn and have a go at Craig again. Woods cross, here comes Mills, and that was Tommy Craig getting it away. Well, it's meant to be Mills marking Craig. That time it was the other way around. Third corner for Ipswich, with Mariner on the near post. There's Beatty. Mariner. That was a fine save. Robbed there by a good goalkeeper by Mike Mahoney. The good deep corner, tremendous leap by Kevin Beattie. Back square, the defence wrong-footed. Up goes Mariner, but just over the top by Mahoney. There's Mills. And that's the equaliser. A fellow Mills size doesn't get too many headers in his career. But there he was, coming off the goal line, into space to meet Clive Wood's corner and in off a defender. Tibbet against McCaffrey again. And here's Mills, needing a little bit of support. Burley's down the flank there. And now Hunter, as the Newcastle push right out, trying to catch them offside. Beatty is here. Well, pulling them out, but the Newcastle are pushing up like uh, a rank of soldiers at the back there. Talbot. Oates loses it. Talbot gets it again. And now the crowd swelling to a roar, trying to push them forward, keep them going. Mariner. Good ball to Gates, he's got a chance to go. Weimark going for him on the right, Gates still coming in. Well, they kept going, and it paid off. And you can always say that about Eric Gates. He'll always keep going. But that was a lovely ball from Paul Mariner. 
turning away, finding Gates unmarked in midfield. Then he went at the back line, and players ran off, giving a little bit more space as Oates went in with a tackle. Gates got his shot in, and it's a good one. And Newcastle pushing more men forward than at any stage in the second half. One of them, Aidan McCaffrey. Kennedy robbed and away comes Weimar. Burley is the leading man at the moment. On the left there we've got two or three players. Mariners now in the middle, Woods on the left. Mills is here. Here's Weimar with a bit of room. And even more room for Woods on the left there. clean in for Burns there goes Barraclough Woods is chasing him but he's too far behind Barraclough a good position a good shot and the Newcastle players put their hands to their heads because when you're at the bottom of the table those go wide of the post when you're at the top they go in what a fine run by Barraclough who's the right back at the moment remember but normally uh, an outside right really whistling down that flank Woods is chasing him but he's no chance of getting it. it's a lovely through ball but just past the far post.